Hi, this is Naomi the dog sitter and today I'm going to tell you about my water filtration system for dogs. This is something that I set up uh, a couple months ago when there was an outbreak in uh, here in Israel of kennel cough and you know all the kennels were pushing people to get vaccinated and of course I was too but I also wanted to see what I could do here to prevent dogs from getting infected with kennel cough or really anything else. Um, as you know, the vaccine is only, well, there are all kinds of numbers flying around, but the one I've heard most often is about 80% effective. And it only works against one of the five or six, depending on who you ask, uh, types of kennel cough. So, you know, a way to prevent animals from getting infected in the first place or from getting exposed in the first place was something that I really wanted to think about. And the first part of my system to prevent dogs from infecting one another is this special water bowl filtration system. And I'm going to explain how each part works individually and show you how it all comes together. So first, we have this pump right here. And this pumps the water out through this pipe, which I'll show you where that goes in a second. And it has, it is a Hydor Seltz, that's S-E-L-T-Z, L20 pump, uh, which is an aquarium pump. And you can probably get that at any pet store, or order it online. Um, anyway, you uh, this pump pumps at, I believe, 720 liters per hour, which is not much if you're talking about a giant fish tank. Uh, but it's certainly plenty for a five or six liter uh, water bowl. Um, next, uh, we have the piping. The water is being pipe pumped through here, and it pumps it up into this right here. Now, this is a Laguna Power Clear PT520 um, uh, water filtration system. Now, this is not in a, your normal aquarium filtration system. Those would probably work as well. Most filtration systems catch all kinds of things like viruses and bacteria and dirt and hairs and so forth in a uh, carbon filter, which is a really, really dense uh, filter, which catches all those things and keeps them there. And then you throw away the filter and you put in a new one. I didn't want that for two reasons. First of all, I'm not trying to collect dirt here. That's not my primary concern. Dogs get dirty and you know, that's what they just what they do. I mean, I've never seen a dog stay clean for more than five or six minutes. This system here works on ultraviolet light. If you look right here, you can see that little bit of light right there and right there. This is the, the inlet. This is where the water goes in. This is where the water goes out. Now, ultraviolet light at the right frequencies can kill viruses and bacteria after a very short amount of exposure. So inside of this filter, there are some spirals and the water goes through those so that it's exposed to this ultraviolet light for as long as possible. Now these things are not that expensive, although the initial expenditure is a little high. It only runs at 13 watts, which is really nothing. I mean, if you look at a light bulb, a light bulb uses a heck of a lot more electricity than this. And you can see that there. I don't know if it uh, comes out clearly in the video. Anyway, so this will kill viruses, bacteria, and even fungi, and uh, bacterial and viral spores, and all kinds of things like that, that the dogs, when they drink, shed into the water with their saliva. You know, you, you never take a drink of water without leaving a little bit of your spit in the cup. Dogs are the same way with their, with, with their water bowls. When you have multiple dogs sharing a single bowl, you definitely have a great source of bacterial and viral and other contamination. So the idea of this system is to kill those viruses rather than just store them in, say, a uh, carbon uh, sponge where potentially if the sponge were to get overloaded, if I were to forget to clean it, or frankly, uh, if it were just to get bumped, quite a bit of that viruses and bacteria, quite a bit of them could get loose and put, be pushed back with the pumping water back into the, uh, into the bowl. And you could have dogs that were here two weeks ago whose bacteria were caught in that sponge 10 days ago infect dogs that are here today. And although it's certainly better than nothing, that's why I decided to go with a UV filter. So next we have this piping here. This is the return pipe. 
the water streams through here at quite a high rate, I'd say. When you consider the size of this water bowl, the water is streaming through here quite a bit. And that means that if a dog takes a sip here, it only takes a, a few seconds, well, a minute maybe, until the water is cleaned out from his viruses, bacteria, and whatever he left, he left in the bowl. So that's basically the filtration system as a whole. Now, there are a few other parts to this, as you can see. There's this, and there's this frame here. And I'm going to explain what those are for. Those are a little bit, those are not absolutely necessary for the filtration system, but it certainly makes it a heck of a lot easier, and I'll explain why. This pump, and just about any pump, although there are some specialty pumps that can turn themselves off, this pump cannot run if the water runs dry. So if if the dogs drink up enough of this water, that pump is going to burn itself out, and it's going to be useless, and, you know, that costs money. These pumps are not free, and they're not the cheapest things either, especially these high-quality uh, uh, semi-professional pumps like I'm using here. Now, what that means is that I needed to find a way to have the water bowl auto-fill itself. That means I needed to refill itself without any human intervention so that if I have, say, 10, 12 dogs in the kennel, and they're all taking a drink uh, at the same time, or say at night, the uh, water won't run dry and burn out this pump. And not to mention the fact that uh, these UV lights are water cooled, so you don't want the water to run dry or it's gonna burn out as well. Now that's not so much of a problem. These UV lights are not quite as expensive, but you know, you can imagine how often these things tend to run dry, especially when you have a whole lot of dogs in, in, this, in, the, uh, in the kennel. So, I uh, added in this toilet bowl float, and that's this right here. Now, when the water, this right here, this cube here, this is filled with air, and it floats, of course, and this, you can see this in the, uh, in the bowl of any toilet. Of course, this is a fresh one, not used, fresh from the, fre fresh from the store. And this, this pipe comes in right from the water mains, so that's fresh water coming in. Uh, fresh, uh, drinkable water. And, oh, here we go. When the water level goes down enough, this float will go down as well. And immediately, water will start streaming into the bowls. You could, if you look very closely, you can see that the water level is rising just a little bit. I have the water pressure on very low here intentionally, but you can see it's already gone up quite a bit there. That allows the water bowl to auto-refill. And that works great. Now, when I first set it up, that's all I had here. A pump, and I actually used a, a lower quality pump back then. It still works, but the, uh, the speed of the water going through was a lot lower. And of course, that means that the water is cleaned a lot slower. And that means that there's more odds, uh, higher odds of dogs getting infected. So, so anyway, that's, this is originally the setup that I had, everything I've explained here. And one day I came home from the store and, you know, I see all these dogs. This is a home kennel, of course. And I see all these dogs and they're all soaking wet. And the bowl had been pushed sideways. And the float had been caught down on the side of the pump there. And although the float, of course, is attached to the wall, as you can see, and it used to be attached right here. I've really got to remove those. Shh, guys. Um the float was caught down and that led to an endless stream of water. Now I had been out for less than three hours. The water ran down the street about 350, 400 meters. And I'm linking to the video in which I videotape what happened there um, in, the, uh, in the video description. So look in the video description to see what that looked like. Believe me, it was not pleasant. Luckily, uh, there was no permanent damage done to any property or dogs. But uh, yeah, I, I don't want to go through that again. So I added in this frame. And this is basically uh, just bits of wood, you know, solid, no splinters, attached around the bowl so the bowl can't move. You see, I'm trying to move it here. It's not moving. This is pretty solidly attached. You can see that I bolted it to the wall pretty darn good. And that keeps the bowl in place. Now, that's pretty much it. The one other part that you see here is this uh, wire mesh, and that's to prevent dogs from digging in the water, like so. Uh, a lot of dogs do that, and I'm not sure if it's the fact that they have less room or the fact that they don't quite see the reflection because of the um, because of the uh, the wires there, because it uh, because it 
prevents them from seeing a complete reflection, but they don't quite dig in these bowls, in, in bowls that are covered with wire mesh quite as often, which is great because that leads to a lot of mud. So this system here cleans your water between sips, and that allows you to have multiple dogs in one location with the reduced risk of them infecting one another. Now soon I'll also be filming a quick tutorial about my air cleaning system, which is a heck of a lot more advanced and a heck of a lot more expensive. But, uh, but and you know, it's not something that I built myself, but it, it does basically the same thing for the oxygen in the room. It filters out viruses and bacteria and actually kills them, which is just great. And together with these, Together with that, I can say pretty clearly that these dogs are in the cleanest possible environment considering the fact that the whole place is filled with dogs, which does not exactly lend itself to cleanliness. But we're able to keep dogs from infecting each other uh, with these systems quite effectively. And of course, vaccination for kennel cough and all other vaccines are very important. But I mean, mild things like respiratory infections and, you know, intestinal infections, they happen all the time in kennels. I mean, you know, just like when you pick up your kid from, uh, from school, it's not that unusual that they picked up a cough or, or an upset stomach or something like that or a sore throat. Same is true at dog kennels. The idea here is that, you, can, you know, you can't teach dogs to, uh, to, to only drink out of their own water bowls. They're going to share bowls. At least this way, you can prevent them from, uh, from infecting each other as much as possible. And that's it. You can post any questions, and I'll answer them to the best of my ability. I'm pretty proud of this system. And that's it. Thanks for viewing.